Today, it's an old style throwdown. Blade guards. The traditional version we've used for years and one I just found that may or may not be better than this guy. Interested? Here we go. I've been skating all my life and seriously with my kids for about 10 years. And we've always used these kind of skate guards. You know them. They're a little piece of flat nylon here on either side and some terry material to absorb all the water. They're easy to put on. The only problem is with today, when you have to do a lot more walking across concrete parking lots, this kind of design just doesn't hold up. And even in regular use, it doesn't hold up. You can see this string hanging down and it's all zipped out here. There's another one here. So I'm gonna to have to either stitch that up or get a new pair. These kind of soakers can run you anywhere from eight to twenty dollars during the COVID times i noticed that there's more and more kids wearing these this is an unsponsored unendorsed video by the way but i just figured i'd give it a shot for everybody and these are sure guards and they're just designed to slide over they look almost like figure skating guards i got these guards for about $15 on Amazon, I'll post below. I got red because it was slightly cheaper and it just looked a lot more fun than just straight black. And there are cheaper versions of these guards out there. You can get them for about $5, but I've noticed the reviews is that it's just not good material and it doesn't last. This is really nice hard rubber. It's got a little grip on the bottom. It has the ability to leak water out. Although I'm looking through the holes right now and I don't see them going passing through directly. I guess it could leak out this way. We'll just take one of these. I think it doesn't matter which one. And we have to make an adjustment here. So let's just take it down here. We'll put this guy on like this. And you can see it has two little loops here. So I'm going to just guess for my skate. How about right there? See if that does it. Yep, I think that's going to do it. All right, you got to take a little persuasion. I don't want to break these things here. So I'm going to just take like a Sharpie pen. See if I can just push those down in there. Yeah, there you go. It's pretty good. You pull it up here on the end of your skate. Not bad. Not bad at all. It really holds a lot better than I thought it would. I think it goes out to size 12 and I've seen little juniors or mites, you know, bring it right out here where their skates are only this long and it seems to work for them. That's impressive. They certainly look like they would last a long time. So first impressions, they seem to stick on the blade and not fall off. I think they're going to do a great job, but this channel is not about just taking it for granted. We got to take these guys out and really put them to the test. We're going to take them outside and work them on blacktop and concrete and all those things that skate guards hate. So here we go, outside testing. Here they are. Here's our test track. Starts out with blacktop goes to concrete which is about as rough as anything can be but we have slurry in the street and if you know about that that's where they take a beautiful nice finished blacktop and they put this rough slurry over the top of it because I think they get a couple of extra years out of the road and it really messed up our inline skating in the street I'm going the distance to and from the house across the court five times to see what the wear on these guys would be like. I think I've got them on there tight. I might have to tighten them up. We'll see. Lap number one. And just to make it special, there's sand 
from the sand trucks in the snow and all that stuff just to make it extra gritty for this test. Here's what it looks like. Two. Lap number three. Lap number four. Four laps. <clears throat> Lap number five. You know, barely anywhere at all. It's a little dark on it, but I bet I can just brush that off. Not bad. Now let's go inside and give it some final thoughts. That distance was probably around, let's just say 100 feet one way, 200 feet, five times, 1,000 feet. Since COVID, I think we're going to be doing a lot more walking on our skates, whether we like it or not, even if all the restrictions are starting to wind down. And to tell you the truth, I wish I would have found these guys years ago. I don't even know if they were available then, but this is the way to go. It's much more stable. I wouldn't dare walking that path with these guys. So I'm sold on these. I'll post a link down below if you're interested in these. And if you want to use the old kind, certainly I'll post another link down there for ones that I think are probably slightly better than these. These have only lasted one, maybe two years sometimes. Based on the wear I'm seeing here, I think they'll go several seasons, if not four or five. It'll be really interesting to test out what the longevity of these are, but they'll certainly be better than these. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. If you're interested in sports tech and evaluations, designs of all kinds, home repairs, check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're going to see. And stay tuned for a future video or I'll post up there if it's already done where we turn these skate guards into roller skates hacking an old pair of inlines. Coming soon.